MediaOmbudsman Namibia.org. The Media Ombudsman is supported by the Editors Forum of Namibia, advocating for ethical and quality journalism. of symbols on worksheets are as follows. Use coloring crayons to color the picture. Use your finger to follow the track or line or show the correct picture. Use a coloring crayon to draw a line or write a number or sound. Look at the picture and say the number or sound out loud. Use a scissors to cut on the dotted line. Look at the picture. Use these symbols for the lesson of the day, which will be allocated at the top right side of each page. For example, lesson one, prepositions and directions. Welcome to My Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa and I have my friend here today. Let us say hi to everyone at home. Our theme this week is My School and our first lesson is prepositions and directions. But before we begin, let's sanitize our hands, everyone. We open up our bottle, take a little squirt, spray, well done. Inside, in between, round and round, well done. And just over. Good job. And remember, you must keep your social distancing. So let's check if we are far enough from each other. Good job. Now we can begin. Let us now turn the page for our first exercise. Turn your page. Here the page is saying Color the children holding the block in front of them. So we are going to stand up. Stand up. Okay. And you are going to get anything you want. A box, a pencil, anything you can put in front of you. So we are going to start by putting the box in front of us. Well done. And place the box behind you. Okay, and then front of us. Very good. And behind you. Well done. So this exercise will help you color that page. We are now going to show you how to remember your left hand. So put your item down. Face the wall. Yes. And I want you to lift up this hand. Very good. You are going to use anything you can tie on this hand. Up. Yes. I hope you are also following at home. Now this hand becomes your left hand. Let's do the left hand wave. Well done. So I'd like you now to sit down. and turn your page to the next exercise. You are now going to use, that's the correct page? Yes. You are now going to use your left hand. Wave your left hand again, very good. And you're going to trace your left hand. 
I am going to do it on the board, and my friend is also going to do it on his paper. You should also do it on your paper. You are going to start with your thumb. So you place your left hand down on your paper, and you will start from your thumb. Are we ready? Let's go. We go round and down, deep into the corners. Make sure your fingers are spaced out. Round and down. Up and round, deep into the corners. Up and round, deep. Up and round. And that is your left hand. Well done! That looks very nice. And I'm sure yours at home looks very nice as well. Now we're going to do our right hand. So let us wave our right hand. Well done! And just like the left hand, we are going to start with our thumb. I'm going to take a different color chalk and I want you to place your right hand on your paper. And you're going to start from your thumb. And let's go. Round and down, deep into the corners. Don't forget to space out your fingers. Down, deep into the corners, up, round, deep into the corners. Don't worry if it's not perfect. <laughs> Teachers also not perfect as well. Round and down. And this becomes our right hand. Now that we have traced our left hand and our right hand, let's do something a little bit different. Please turn your page to the next exercise. On this page, we are going to identify different items on the left and the right. I want you to please identify the item on the left of the ice cream. Very good. I hope you're following at home as well. Now, I want you to identify the item on the right of the grapes. Mmm, grapes. Yummy. Well done. And now, I'd like you to identify the item on the right of the soccer ball. Uh-huh. Yes, well done. Good job. If you did this at home and you got everything correct, well done as well. Let's try and do our directions with a different exercise. Please turn your page. On your page, you have a boy and a girl standing on lines. I would like you to trace starting from the left to the right of these lines. So you begin from the left side and you move across to the right. Don't worry if it is not a straight line. You can also try on the other side where the girl is standing. You start from the dot and you move from the left going to the right. The rest you can do by yourselves at home. Thank you so much, everybody. This is the end of our lesson. But before we go, we would like to remind you to practice social distancing. How do we do that? You check how far you are from the next person by putting your hands out and in front of you. Before we go, we have a special message from our special friend, 
Zoshi. <laughs> Joshi, and make sure to always make a helicopter circle stretching your arms out and spinning around like me. And make sure you're not touching anyone while doing this. Goodbye! Explanation of symbols on worksheets are as follows. Use coloring crayons to color the picture. Use your finger to follow the track or line or show the correct picture. Use a coloring crayon to draw a line or write a number or sound. Look at the picture and say the number or sound out loud. Use a scissors to cut on the dotted line. Look at the picture. Use these symbols for the lesson of the day, which will be allocated at the top right side of each page. For example, lesson one, prepositions and directions. Welcome to My Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutza and I have my friend today. Let's say hi to everyone at home. Our topic this week is My School. Now for our first lesson, we did prepositions and direction. We learned how in front looks like and behind. We also learned the difference between our left hand and our right hand. Today's topic is visual discrimination and that is lesson two. But before we start, we must sanitize our hands. So let us take our sanitizer and put a little bit in. Yes, well done. And we start inside, in between, round and round, and on our wrists. Good job. Now we have to also remember social distancing. And how we practice good social distancing is to check if we are touching the next person. So we spread our arms out beside us and in front of us. Now we know we are ready. Let us turn to page eight for our first exercise. You can see on the page that there are pictures of houses and flowers. But for our house, the first one has a chimney, two windows, and a door. Our second house is missing something. It has a chimney, a window, a door, but it is missing a window. So it is our job to draw the window. I'd like you on your paper to draw the missing window. You can start with a big square and then you can make smaller squares in the middle. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Very good. Now I'm sure you can see what is missing on the other houses and I'd like you to do that by yourselves. 
Now I'm going to ask my friend to help me with the flower. Come and help me. Stand up, please. You can see that there is a flower here and it's beautiful. Who loves flowers? I do too. But our second flower is missing something. So I'd like you to please draw the missing part of the flower. Well done. Good job. If you did that as well at home, well done. And the rest of the exercise, please do by yourselves. I hope your houses look pretty and your flowers look beautiful. Let us try a different exercise on the next page. Here we have pictures of a ball, a pencil, a apple and a rectangle. My friend is going to help me to see which one is the bigger one. Which one is the bigger ball? Can you point? Well done. And which one is the bigger pencil? Very good. Which one is the bigger apple? Yes. And which one is the bigger rectangle? Wonderful. So you are going to color the bigger one between the two items. For the ball, let's color the bigger ball. You can do this at home with different colors. It doesn't have to be one color. You can have many colors and make a rainbow. For now, we are going to leave it here. And the rest you will do at home. Let us do the next exercise on the next page. Here we have a school and it is very beautiful. You can see that it has a clock and it has a flag and many windows. We want you to try and draw the school. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. But I want you to start at the dot and you're going to move from left to right. My friend is going to show you how she's going to move from left to right. Very good. Now we would like you to continue by yourselves at home. This marks the end of our lesson today. I hope you had fun. I know that we did. Now, before we go, we have a special message from Zashi. Yay! <laughs> Joshi, and make sure to always make a helicopter circle stretching your arms out and spinning around like me. And make sure you're not touching anyone while doing this. Goodbye! In a corner of southern Africa lies a vast and sparse land where endless horizons, dramatic scenery and untouched wilderness abound. One thousand five hundred kilometers of harsh desert coastline, a mosaic of biodiversity, sub-Saharan savanna, acacia bushland encased by two deserts. Home to wildlife and wilderness abundant, yet ever at risk. This is Namibia, 
home to some of the most noteworthy conservation success stories across the globe. Initiatives forged, manned, and driven by passionate individuals and groups. People are busy there uh, walking for more than 45 kilometers a day. Special species and wild locations under constant threat from an increasingly destructive developing world. One of the world's you know, true survivors. This is the story of the Namibian wilderness. The stories of the enigmatic wildlife and natural wonders of her realm. They are not a, a, a threat to anyone, if you understand them. This is the story of those determined to preserve it, and thereby themselves. Don't think, um, I want to tell my children one day that we had rhinos in Namibia. I want to show them live rhinos. This is the story of the last defenders. We have been trapped them for about seven days, and on the seventh days, we, we come across the butchers, and uh, there was a shooting. We are not armed. We having a camera and GPS. We are just hiding behind the bushes. If I don't protect this uh, species, who's going to do that? So is that why I sacrificed my life to go on uh, conserve the rhinos? Armed out in the field with basically a notebook against poachers that are armed with highly dangerous weapons and more. How is this an equal fight? I, I started right on the ground as a trekker okay. and I worked all the way up to be the CEO now and I know how hard it is. It's commitment and dedication and the patience that you have for the animal. It's really hard. It's like you had something in your house that you are protecting for so long and when you go away from home somebody comes and kills you. Today I'm joined by a panel of men. As per usual, we men get to talk about what we men really talk about. The program aims to make sure that what is left in the dark definitely comes to light. I, I did see my father physically abusing my mother, so um, I didn't grow up with that that I should beat a woman because I hated what my dad did to my mom. You know, whether this older woman does it with you, whether she, you know, violates you, it's sort of seen that that boosts your ego as a man. Um, was that as a young man, I think at 17, 18, I started dating and realized that um, it's a very fascinating thing to have sex and so forth. So we had lots of what we call... COVID-19 affects people very differently. Many people show no symptoms at all, but some are hospitalized for weeks. So what does the disease do to your body? The coronavirus enters through the mouth, nose or eyes. It then usually attaches itself to cells lining the nose, throat, airways or lungs. It can turn these cells into factories that multiply and spread the virus. For the majority, a fever, cough and breathlessness are as bad as it gets. But the virus can damage the small blood vessels lining the lungs and initiate clotting. The alveoli are tiny air sacs where oxygen goes into the blood. If they become inflamed, it can trigger pneumonia. Seriously ill patients need to be given oxygen as the lungs fill with fluid and debris. I legit couldn't breathe. My oximeter was measuring under 88% oxygen levels, which is very dangerous. And the only time I ever thought my life was in danger was at that point. COVID-19 doesn't just affect the lungs. It can also disrupt the immune system, which is used by the body to fight illnesses. Cytokines are part of the immune system that find and signal infections. For some people with severe COVID-19, this system can go into overdrive. 
If too many cytokines build up, it can cause an overreaction that damages healthy cells. This is called a cytokine storm for the most severe cases. COVID-19 can lead to seizures or even a coma. It can also cause brain problems that lead to strokes. The immune system overreacting can cause clots that stop the blood supply to parts of the brain. Brain inflammation, psychosis and dementia-like symptoms can also affect seriously ill patients. The average length of the illness is 14 days, but many people have symptoms for much longer. Breathing problems and post-viral fatigue last for months in some cases. <laughs> I cannot uh, walk for long simply because I will feel a little bit um, short of breath and I feel the need to sit down. And that's something that has never happened to me before. Some of the people who are most likely to develop severe symptoms are older adults and those with underlying health conditions. It's not fully known how anyone will react to COVID-19 until they get it. So it's important for everyone to follow health guidance. What precautions are you taking to stay safe? I'm, feel, I'm feeling so bad because of you I have been arrested. We are trying to sell to provide our kids with food. But the police, they come to arrest us. I was literally apprehended in Independence Avenue. I mean, there was no prior communications with, uh, with the police or with Bonn or Bangor Namibia. These guys literally just apprehended us on surprise. And when you are talking in a manner that is exaggerated about brutality in this country, I should ask you in which country you live. Yes, I can confirm that uh, indeed there were two cell phones that were found after a search was conducted at the cells that the fish rod uh, accused us taking. Do you understand the amount of money that the government has spent on the fight against COVID-19? Could they have spent 300 million on tracing people and managing people? Is that even possible? Akiri, 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 akiri.